everyone's Dave here and welcome to the Disc Ninja Overview. Uh, I don't think I've seen the concept like that before. I mean, y'all, putting labels of ninja on every game, it's not like it's gonna make it special or something. I don't get it. I'm not gonna be surprised at all if we're gonna have golf ninja or something in the future. I feel like it's one of those things that you can make a zombie game with every concept there is. And ninja is like a close second to it. I mean, they throw shurikens or whatever, but like discs as a sport? I'm not a developer. So Disc Ninja seems to be a literally disc throwing game with stunning graphics I must say. Like if sport games would be releasing with this kind of level of design and if the mechanics would be top tier as well then I don't really mind concepts like that releasing. The only occasion I've tried features like that was in the rec room I would say. Like it's so funny. Most of the VR sports or features or anything I've already tried in rec room and then it's being much more polished like in separate titles on the store. The game will be featuring multiplayer mode on release day so that's pretty cool. Aside from that some collectibles, costumes, pretty much standard avatar stuff that we should be getting nowadays in VR. Though like concept itself I'm not very sure about. Like if you discard ninja theme and put just normal avatars the game would not change at all. Like I don't know if it's because the gameplay revolves in Asian environments but honestly I could care less. Maybe it's like their selling point but like it neither adds up or diminishes the experience I feel like. The stages seem to have as well like traps and stuff so it's not gonna be just boring throwing and hoping you score a boogie like on golf courses. That's a nice design choice to have something dynamic going on. Sometimes the concepts limit themselves because you can't really introduce something out of the box that would not make sense in the total gameplay for like a sport game. Maybe throw into like some power ups or just explosions. I don't know like it's a disc throwing game. If the mechanics work properly what do you want more from it? Let's just go on the course. Oh okay. Welcome to Disc Ninja. The game's main goal is to throw the disc at the dragon in as few throws on the way as possible. Let's get through some basics first. Signpost, posted along the main route will guide you through the level. Be on the lookout for shortcuts. They will help you get to the dragon faster. You can plan your throws ahead by looking for signpost with exclamation marks. To help you navigate through the levels, you can open the minimap on your belt. Dismiss it by grabbing and throwing it away. Nice. When playing on the courses, look for the hidden treasures. This is a proper stance for throwing discs, young ninja. Try to keep the same position to hit your target. Throw your disc at the target to collect the treasure. Okay. After throwing a disc, you can grab the ghost disc to repeat the throw. All throws count. Even if the previous disc did not land on the ground, you can use the throw assist by pressing and holding A button to choose the throw direction. Confirm by releasing the button. Try it now to finish the tutorial. Emma the dragon. Whenever the disc lands on the ground, you'll be teleported to its position. So I am, for example, here. And I just release it. Aha, uh -huh, so it's kind of like goes in the direction of the throw. What if I throw like completely in the other? Okay, it just forces. I mean, of course I'm gonna use it because what's the point of the game if I'm gonna do that? Okay, well that was sad. <laughs> To finish the tutorial, Emma the Dragon. <laughs> the board in front of you shows the score. You can use the bombs to move to Dojo to practice more throws. Restart to beat your score or go back to main menu. Just grab the bomb and throw it on the ground. <laughs> Alright, okay. So I'm gonna go directly into the multiplayer. Invite friends or start looking for a match. I mean, yeah. I feel like it's just that in single player is gonna be literally the same thing that it's gonna be in multiplayer. So it's better to just see the mechanics how they work in multi. Unless literally everyone is playing stride now. Ah well, single it is. So those are stages, right? Dojo, Dragon Shrine, all those 15 things. I'm not interested in wardrobe, but sure. Okay, so here I see myself, avatar. I pull costumes that I collect on the stages. 
fun. Okay, well, I don't have anything, so let's just go to the actual stage. So the environments look fairly nice for Quest. Clearly the trailer was from PC VR, so it's not that bad. I guess this is a treasure, right? No? Oh damn, really? <laughs> Here. Disc of Harmony is gonna be unlocked eventually. So I'm not the best at disc throwing, but we're making things do. Throws. Oh wow. I was gonna say you can power through this game, but <laughs> this is twice as long as it seems. It didn't count. Oh my god. <laughs> and we have different routes as well. That's fun. We go there. I guess you have to be careful where you throw, because not everything counts. Let me try this then. Power throw. Yeah. Okay, you know. I hear the water. I don't think we have like, you know, weather things going on and stuff like that. Come on. <laughs> so it's basically just how strong you throw. Well, we can cross ourselves, but our disc can. Where the hell are we? Far away. I can see... Playing it multi, because solo is kinda... Let me say... depressing. <laughs> The throwing seems fine. It curves when it should curve, like... It's fine. That's just me and my arm. Do I throw like too high? It is a sport actually, like disc throwing. Is it in Olympics? I'm not sure, but it's actually serious. We're taking it serious. <laughs> That doesn't change that I suck. 24. The same amount of throws. Well, it's fun that you can like kind of discover different environments. It might be boring to watch, I understand. <laughs> oh damn, how to throw this? Terrible. A 
And this is gonna be hard. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Can I, like, throw literally there to just, like, <coughs> be done with the stage? Amazing. How about that? Oh my god, I'm depressed. Where am I? <laughs> I was here, but I threw it here, so I have to go back, like, hmm, I think I'll pass. <laughs> oh, it's a tunnel, what? Don't go down, for the love of God. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> what? It penetrated the thing? That could be like game changing, you know, bug or whatever. It doesn't really have this wow factor, I would say. Like, it's all basic stuff put in pretty environments, I must say, but there are still bugs with the disc penetrating the terrain, can be game-changing in some multiplayer scenarios. But like, aside from that, as I said before, there's not much going on in terms of the gameplay itself. I'm not a disc person, so this title to me is a pass. For some it might be great, you know, it's just not my thing, that's all.